<laughs> Here are our three pups available from our Basenji Border Pompsky litter. Half Basenji, one quarter Border Collie, one quarter Pompsky. And for those who don't know, a Pompsky is half Pomeranian, half Husky. Hi, beautiful. Hi. This is a breed that is very playful outside and when it's playtime. But once mature, you know, and obviously not a little rambunctious puppy, but once mature, they tend to be very calm and well behaved indoors. That's what I breed for because it's very important to me. I don't like crazy hyper dogs in my house. So the parents I choose in my breeding program are all very well behaved and calm naturally, but training helps. But I also love to take them hiking, camping, four-wheeling, horse riding. I like to play fetch and frisbee. I, I like an active dog outside when I want an active dog. These are very athletic and very intelligent. Hey puppies. Hi. Hi. This one has one blue eye. Look at me. And one half blue eye. Oh, are you going to look at me, huh? Yes. Are you going to look at me? The other thing I like about them is they do have an independent side. So they don't have to be with you and on you all the time to be happy. They're a little bit more cat-like. They're cuddly and personable and friendly, but they can also do their own thing. <laughs> and they don't bark. They can make noises. They can whimper and howl. Hi, but they have quiet natures. So even the noises they can make, they don't make all that much, you know, except on occasion if they're stressed out or if they're tied up or in a crate and want to get to you really bad or something like that. But they don't just bark at things in the yard like a lot of breeds do. And these that are, you can see their curly tails. I love those. <laughs> these are only half Basenji and every once in a while I've noticed one of my half Basenji puppies will bark, but like I said, they don't use it all that much. What? 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 And I intentionally breed these crosses, including the Border Collie, to get a puppy that's more trainable and obedient than a typical Basenji. And I included the Pompski and the Border Collie half to keep the curly tail small size and just the whole cuteness factor. So I want to produce a very good looking dog too. Also with the Pompski and the Border Collie, um, I'm breeding in. The coat is going to be short because genetically speaking, my Basenji stud can't produce anything but short coats in his puppies. But there is some variation in short coats. Some are thinner, some are a little bit thicker. And because I live in Utah in the cold weather, a lot of Basenjis hate going outside in the winter. Um, and so I wanted to include the longer coated Border Collie and the Pompsky to make the short coat a little softer, denser, and thicker um, so they can handle the cold better than a purebred Basenji. But of course, they're still great in the summer heat too. And very easy maintenance coat. Basenjis are considered a hypoallergenic breed. And so these puppies are half Basenji. So it's similar to breeding a poodle to any other breed like a lab or a golden retriever as far as how hypoallergenic they will be. 
I've been breeding dogs my entire adult life. I am in my 40s. And this is kind of my retirement phase. It's funny to say when I have eight dogs, but um, I just wanted the perfect dog for us because we take them with us everywhere. We travel every week and I take all my dogs with me. I take them on horse rides, like I said. I train them like they're part of the family and I wanted the perfect kind of dog that I want to live with especially because my husband appreciates dogs but is not a huge indoor dog person and so when I have my dogs inside they need to be well behaved they need to be clean they need to be quiet so as to not bother him plus I appreciate a very respectful and enjoyable dog to be around as well Puppies, hi. <coughs> oh, you're good puppies. Such good puppies. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That's good puppies. Yes. Good puppies. <laughs> I love how they hold themselves very regal and proper. That's why I call them mini royals because. They sit regal, they lay down regal, they stop and just stare at things so regal. They just have a very royal air about them and the way that they carry themselves and their demeanor. See, there's an example. Are you so pretty? Are you so pretty? And these dogs will pant when they're hot, you know, or running, super excited. But I appreciate dogs that don't pant just to communicate, like a lot of just happy-go-lucky breeds are, because I'm a little bit allergic to dog slobber. So when I've had other breeds that run up to me panting and slobbering all over me, all excited to see me, I get hives on my arms. Plus, when I'm out in the wilderness, I want to enjoy the peace and the quiet and listen to the wildlife. I don't want to have a dog next to me that's <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> Good puppies. Okay, this video is getting kind of long. I'll stop it and make another one. <laughs>